Welcome back. This is Fire 675, another Firefall guide. Today we're going to talk about the uh, Ares Special Weapon Blueprints. Um, they are unlocks uh, for crafting that you have to go to a vendor to buy the unlock, unlock it, to get the recipe available for you to, to build it uh, in the, uh, the printer. Um, there's five different types of weapons and they're basically made for the uh, five base classes the uh, the Accord classes, the Accord Recon, Accord Biotech, the Accord Dread, not uh, the Accord Assault, and uh, of course the Accord Engineer. Um, having said that, because they're designed for the base classes, any frame can use these because if you're a tier 2, like my, uh, my fire cat here, uh, any of the tier twos can use any of the equipment from the base class. So if this weapon is designed for the Accord uh, Assault, my fire cat can use it. So you can see right here, I've got one of them equipped. Um, this is the uh, the assault um, weapon. It's called the uh, Dragonborn Cannon, um, and it's pretty neat. Uh, it's got a uh, the regular uh, fire it's gonna look electrical just because uh, this is recorded uh, in the 1.1 patch with the uh, the electrical uh, damage things um, included so it, when I built this it randomly assigned it, it assigned it an electrical uh, prefix so um, the electrical will shock targets for additional damage and it may chain damage chain lightning damage to other enemies uh, but that's not part of the base weapon. Uh, the base weapon is different because it's just a plasma uh, cannon, like a normal Accord plasma cannon, but the secondary fire is a dragon's breath, uh, which is a, uh, it's like a flamethrower, short range flamethrower, which, you know, it looks kind of neat. Um, I haven't tested it um, because I'm level 40 and this is a level 10 gun, so I couldn't even tell you uh, relatively how much damage it would do. But I'm guessing since it's special, uh, it probably does uh, either average, uh, comparable, or or better damage than a a normal um, weapon. Now, just remember that the Accord um, plasma cannon has like a shotgun effect uh, that goes out and ricochets the bullets ricochet as its normal secondary fire or alt fire, if you will. Now we'll take a look at the Dreadnought. Uh, the Accord Dreadnought can use a, uh, its uh, primary weapon is called the HMG, the Heavy Machine Gun. Uh, it looks kind of like this. It's got the spin-up big minigun thing. There's a spin-up to it, uh, and it shoots a lot of bullets really fast. Uh, the secondary, uh, the alt fire, if you will, um, puts up a front-facing shield, which will absorb bullets, projectiles, and such. As long as you have the button held down, uh, it will stay up. Um, when you let go, your weapon sparks a little bit, and that shows you that your shield is on cooldown until it uh, is available to use again. The um, the Accord Special Weapon uh, Blueprint uh, is called a Barrier HMG, which is uh, it, the primary fire is just like the um, the, the regular HMG. But the, the alt fire on this um, has a full sphere shielding effect. It, it would look kind of neat if it actually popped out a shield, uh, but it just makes you glow. But um, having said that, instead of having a front facing shield, it, it'll shield you from any bullets or projectiles coming in. So, like, still has a charge up, still shoots bullets. Secondary fire does this. That looks pretty cool. I mean, I mean, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so that'll protect you from damage from 360 degrees. Um, yeah, so that's that's the uh, the dreadnought version, uh, a special weapon. So this is uh, an example of the bear HMG. If you look, I've, I've got my secondary up, and I'm not taking any damage at all. As long as I've got that, my alt fire held down. 
They're not doing any damage to me. Until it gets to a certain amount, I'm guessing, that it maxes out, and then you'll see my shield fizzle, and then I'll start taking damage. But we're still good for now. Still no damage. There we go. So now I start taking damage. So as you can see, it lasts pretty long. Pretty long. Um, it absorbs quite a bit of damage before you. Uh, before you either have to take your finger off of it or uh, until your shield breaks. Next up we've got the Burrowing Sticky Launcher. Um, it's for the engineer, as you could probably guess by the look of this frame. Um, the engineer weapons are pretty neat because they, they always just fold fold up inside your arm armor weapon deployable looking thing. And this is like the base model right here. Um, base look for uh, the weapons. Uh, so when we stick the uh, <clears throat> burrowing sticky launcher in there, it's got a little you know camouflage looking base to it. So uh, it makes it a little bit more unique. Not that you can see that very well uh, from any distance. Um, but this weapon's kind of neat. It, it works just like a, a regular sticky launcher, um, which uh, is the primary weapon for the Bastion uh, tier two frame, which makes this kind of unique uh, to these uh, airy special weapons. Um, so that's your primary fire, just launches the, your your bombs out there, and your alt fire uh, ignites them, and these flame pods that pop up afterwards that's the uh, the special thing uh, for this weapon normally they just explode uh, a regular sticky launcher will just explode but these explode and then they have like a little fire trap that burns uh, for a little extra damage anything that's still sitting in that area so that's kind of neat so like I was saying before the the other uh, weapons um, they're all based on the Accord battle frame uh, primary weapon uh, so you've got an uh, HMG for the dread. You've got a plasma uh, cannon for your assault. You've got the the regular um, uh, assault rifle uh, scope for the recon. But this one it takes the the base weapon of one of the tier two classes. So that's that's kind of neat and kind of um, kind of special. Um, the downside of this uh, one of the uh, ingredients for this um, is brine worm goo and. That's difficult to find because brine worms don't show up very often. Um, one place that I found um, is near Broken Shores, and it is up in this area. Oh, maybe it's this area right here. There's like a little temple uh, with an Ares mission that's inside. Yeah, so it's probably this area right here. Uh, there's a couple of missions that you take from Broken Shores that will spawn brine worms, and you can loot some brine worm goo out of that. Next up is going to be the recon weapon, uh, the special, airy special weapon uh, that you unlock with the blueprints. Um, the base recon, the Accord recon frame, primary weapon is, is called the R36 assault rifle, which you can see here. Um, it's pretty comp compact, it's got a scope on it. Um, when you look down the scope, it doesn't really uh, give you much of a magnification, but it does give you a tighter um, reticle. But the, the zoom is unimpressive, and it's it's not um, variable. Uh, the tier two um, frames, the scope on those you can scroll uh, scroll wheel on your mouse, and you you'll zoom in and zoom out. But the R36 has a locked um, optics on it. The R uh, the R36 um, special weapon, the airy special weapon, uh, is called the Sharp Eye R36. Uh, basically, does everything that the regular R36 does. It's got a slight decrease in rate of fire, um, but the scope is enhanced. At least they say it's enhanced. Uh, you know, it's it does zoom in quite a bit more. Uh, it's still at a locked optics uh, range. So you can't scroll, you can't zoom out um, from this. Uh, so your 
you are where you're at. So you can see that the size of those creatures, size of the targets with uh, this zoomed in. I'll try to switch here quickly. And you can see it does mag up quite a bit um, compared to the base model. Uh, it's still super accurate. So that's the uh, the Accord um, Recon Airy Special Weapon. And finally, we have the Accord Biotech um, Airy Special Weapon Blueprint. It's uh, it's called the Noxious Needler. Now, first off, you're, you're probably wondering why I've got this god awful uh, toxic uh, war paint on uh, my frame. Um, well, this is the um, the generic. Uh, bio needler that I've got in my hand right here. You know, it just does what it does normally: single shot, shotgun, alt. Um, the noxious needler. Um, and the shotgun has a, a, a toxic um, a, effect, so basically, in, it infects your targets that you hit with it, and they uh, they take bio damage um, as well. Now. This is uh this is filmed in patch 1.1 and we just had introduced the elemental uh, weapon uh, bonuses. So when I built this, it, it was built um, as a bioactive noxious needler. So it's it's kind of a double double whammy poison weapon here. Uh, bioactive uh, prefix means uh, it has a chance to poison targets for additional damage. Um, so with that in mind, um, even the, the primary fire will uh, do extra bio damage, as you saw by the yellow. Uh, so the secondary fire on this, uh, you, know, you can still see it glowing there. And that can actually spread, I believe, to other enemies and do even more damage. Let me see if I can get one of these guys tagged here. Anyway, so that's the uh, the noxious needler, noxious needler, and as you can tell by the um, the warframe, this is why I wore this war paint because it actually matches the gun. Oh, that's horrible! Oh, that's horrible! It makes me want to puke. So now that you've witnessed and seen how these alternate versions of these weapons work and, and what they look like and and um, through the utility of them uh, compared to just the the base models uh, you, you're probably wondering I've never seen these weapons where can I get them um, well you need to unlock the ability to make them in the molecular printer so starting um, right here in Thump Dump which is in the north uh, well the northwestern portion of uh, Coral Forest. North Shores is there, uh, Copa is down here. So way up here, when you get to about level 10 or 11, this is a good place to be. Um, now, if you come into town, and there's a big Thump Thump Tower where they launched the Thumpers from, uh, there's a sin up link, and here's the job board. Most of the vendors uh, that sell these unlocks are going to be near the job boards. There's one, possibly two, um, suppliers that aren't right next to a job board. So come over here to Supply Officer Hooker. Nice. Um, interact with him, and you can see right here he's a, he sells these unlocks. Um, so these will give you the ability to go to a printer to make these things. Now they cost vouchers and you get vouchers by completing jobs at the job board at the specific locations so if you mouse over it it tells you which uh, voucher you need some of them they don't necessarily have might not have vouchers for that exact area so it'll tell you which ones you need to collect to uh, to purchase these unlocks um, now I've purchased uh, most of these if not all of these uh, so it shouldn't let me buy it again so which is it's a nice little safeguard uh, cannot unlock already owned but I think it actually 
took my vouchers. Anyway, so be careful of that. In fact, it did take my vouchers. Uh, I just checked the tape and I was at 33 before I purchased that. So even though it won't unlock for you, it will uh, still take your vouchers. Um, so I guess your best bet would be go to the molecular, your, your molecular printer, or your workshop, workbench, and see if you've got that um, recipe unlocked already before you uh, try to buy them again. Because it will take your vouchers, but it, if it's already unlocked, then you just wasted uh, vouchers. So buy the vouchers from here. It'll show that it unlocked or that it's already been unlocked, if that you already had it. And then you go up here to the molecular printer wherever uh, your nearest one is handy. Anyway, uh, go to new job, manufacturing. Uh, you're gonna start by looking under uh, battle frame equipment. Uh, and then you're gonna look under the base class that you want. So uh, if we're looking for the, uh, the dragon cannon for the assault, click on assault. Turret and it's gonna be under the accord assault. All these weapons are gonna be under the accord Frame, the base frame for the classes. So we'll check out the Accord Assault. Uh, it'll be under Plasma Cannon. And this one unlocked two. It unlocked the green and the blue. Uh, so you've got the uh, uncommon version, which gives you two slots. Uh, and the rare version, which gives you three slots and improved uh, stats. The difference being uh, there's going to be a little difference in the uh, requirements uh, for the recipe. It's about three times as much cristite, uh, and instead of copper wiring, you need to build synthetic ligatures. Um, there's going to be a weird item for all of these um, that you're going to have to basically go and try to find that type of enemy to, to get the, the, the loot from. So this has fire glands, and they're from fire aranyas, which are random throughout this whole place uh, so you'll have to get that in the synthetic ligatures you actually have to build those um, you go to crafting components resource hybrids and then click on synthetic ligatures so it takes cop 40 copper wiring and 80 iron bars for one uh, and it's a 20 minute build just for that component so if you've got enough uh, enough materials you may want to build a couple of these um, so that you don't have to wait 20 minutes next time because it's the same time no matter how many of them you build. Um, so that's where synthetic ligatures come from. So this is this is where you build it. Um, hit build and it will count down and then you pull it out like you normally do. Um, there's only one weird place that you have to look. Uh, it's for... Yeah. Yes, here it is. Now, because like I was saying before, uh, the the engineer gun is different because it's based off a tier two weapon instead of the base um, Accord engineer primary weapon. So the primary weapon for the base engineer is a Tesla rifle, but since it's built off of the um, the Bastion sticky grenade launcher, you won't find it underneath the Tesla rifle. It has its own category here. So that's where you will find those recipes. Everything else should be under the uh, the base primary weapon for the Accord suit of that class. So now you've seen what they look like, seen what they do. You've seen where to get the level 10 blues uh, from Supply Officer Hooker up here in Thump Dump. And now I will go through and I will show you the locations of all of the other vendors that sell these unlocks. The next stop for our weapon unlocks um, is down here in Shantytown, which is in the southwest uh, border of uh, Coral Forest. Here's Copa, Trans Hub, Sunken Harbor is over here. So here's Shantytown right down here. To get the lay of land, here is the Synup link. Here's the job board, and here is our Ares vendor, Supply Officer Shadow. Uh, so he sells the Barrier, um, Burrowing, Sticky Launcher, Noxious Needler, Sharpened R36. Um, yeah. 
those are the weapons. He also sells the abilities for a level 22 blues. So these uh, these blue level 20s are on sale for 25 shanty voucher uh, shanty town vouchers. This is the uh, location for the purple level 30 weapon unlocks. Um, it's at the Andreev Station. Uh, it's in Sertau. It's in the northeastern portion of Sertau. There's Dredge, Fob Sagan, uh, and OCT there. So this is, uh, for reference, this is the Coral Forest border. Um, if you're looking at the base itself, it's like an oil rig. There's the Sinup Link Tower that you can orient to. There's the job board. And Supply Officer Schwartz is right here. Whose head is spinning all the way backwards. Oh my god, that's creepy. Um, so here's your unlocks, level 30 uh, purples. You got Barrier HMG, the Burrowing Sticky Grenade Launcher, Dragonborn Plasma Cannon, Noxious Needler, and Sharp Eyed R36. They cost 40 Andrew Station vouchers each. Um, and we'll be moving on to the next one. So our final stop for our Airy Special Weapon Blueprint Unlocks is out here at Stronghold. Uh, it is in Devil's Tusk. Uh, if you take the Arc Porter in, you'll probably land here at Chosen Artillery. So it's on the far western side, or if you take some of the dropships in, uh, you may end up at Fob Harpoon here. Um, so all the way out here to the west, uh, it's a crazy volcano, chaotic looking place. Um, Job board is what you need to look for. Um, send beacon is over there. So this is our guy right here, Supply Officer Wyland, and he offers the level 40 uh, purple uh, uh, weapon unlocks, um, and these are going to cost you 75 stronghold vouchers. Um, obviously, you know to get stronghold vouchers, you do the job boards right here at Stronghold. So, uh, that wraps up the locations um, and uh, the overview of the different types of weapons. Um, obviously, I showed you the level 10 weapons. Uh, extrapolate that out to the uh, level that you are building at um, and the chances that you could get prefixes on the weapons that you do build uh, that you may or may not see on dropped weapons. Um, so, to, to review, uh, Every 10 levels, level 10, 20, 30, and 40, uh, you have the ability of researching uh, or unlocking one of these, um, or all of these recipes uh, that you can use at those levels. Um, and there, I went over the location. So use this video to refer back uh, when you get to the next stage um, so that you can pick out, uh, remember where you, where you needed to go. Please uh, feel free to share this video with your friends. Uh, your army mates uh, on your um, your army boards um, and uh, feel free to like subscribe comment down below if you have any questions please feel free to ask uh, you can look at my other firefall guys right up here in this lovely corner uh, I hope you were entertained I hope you uh, learned uh, something and I hope you come back thank you very much